Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Law Land on hashtag Transformation Tuesday. We have the owner of Thrive Specialized Training in the house, Ryan Reed. Thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having welcome. me. I Your really hashtag booty you. God has a lot yes. of people talking. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, everyone wants a butt. You know, a girls want a booty. So <laughs> I want to get I, rid I'm, of my hey, booty. Hey, no, no, <laughs> I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not letting that happen. Not on my watch. I just want to put hey. you back to pot. So yeah. what was your journey to becoming the fitness expert? Yeah, so um, I played pro basketball for five years. I played in Europe. So when I was 27, in, in the prime of your career, usually when you're a basketball player, uh, I had a back injury, and it wiped me out. So I'm, tw I'm at 27. I got cut from my team because I'm hurt. Uh, I have no money, living with my grandma, and I have no job. So it's not a good look for me right now at 27, to say the least, right? So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to be a trainer. And um, I did in San Diego, where I'm from, uh, for about six months, so it was going decent. And then my good friend, who actually plays for the Lakers now, his name is Jared Dudley, I grew up with him. He played for the Suns at the time. He said, move to Scottsdale. I'm like, you know what, done. Nothing holding me back, I'm gonna go. And from then on, I moved about seven years ago, and you know, I worked my butt off, and uh, you know, my dedication and you know, grinding, and now is where it is. We have about 400 clients uh, in person, about 100 people online, uh, four locations. I opened up San Diego last week, uh, opening up LA soon, New York, China, Beijing, everywhere. So, awesome. I have a question so for you. <laughs> We're talking a lot about life being a mirror. Yes. How mm -hmm. much do you find out of those clients, you know, 400 clients, yes. a lot of people, how much do you feel like their mind and their consciousness is playing into the actual outpicturing of their body? It's, it's, it's everything. Um, because, you know, when, when you're a girl, you're very sensitive to how you look, how others look, mm -hmm. how you see yourself in the mirror. A lot of girls struggle with dysmorphia, mm -hmm. which is you look in the mirror, you don't see an accurate picture of what you of what you look like. Totally. Um, it's because what society brings to you and what your friends bring to you and what they tell you you should look like. And oh, like you just said, you want to get rid of your butt. Some girls mm -hmm. say get a butt. Some I'm girls joking. say you I know. Okay, perfect. Exactly there you go. Good, good, good. good. So we're all yeah. everyone's telling these girls <laughs> how they should look mm -hmm. and. The important part is how you want to look, how you feel about yourself. Um, and so, you know, getting that mental aspect along with getting right physically and getting healthy, you know, it, it goes a long way because I tell my girls all the time, as you look better, you're going to look in the mirror more. And it's easy to get more insecure as you look better because now you're in the mirror perfecting things that you would never even look at because now, you know, it, it's you're just in the mirror all the time. And so it's, the mental aspect plays a big part. I stand in front of the mirror and look at my ass all day long. Hey, there you go, as you should. There you go. And what power to you? So hey, as you should. <laughs> so clearly, you know, you're um, an expert at helping other people transform their lives. Yes. But you've also transformed yours. 100%. When you had the in injury, I mean, first of all, you were basically living my dream life as a professional uh, basketball player, go. right? Yes. So when you had that injury, okay. you know, how hard was it to transform your life from that point and what helped you the most? Man, it was devastating for me. As a person who grew up an All-American, the best person on their team, for me to be a 27-year-old, you know, man now um, and not be able to do what I love and what I've been working for my whole life was like, it was hard. I, I had to get over some serious mental aspects of being able to even get out of bed. Yeah. Because I'm like, I worked my whole life for 27 years to get to this point, and now I'm getting paid to play, and now I just can't. It was hard. Um, so I had to find a new passion. I'm a very passionate person. And you knew for sure the career was over. I knew for no. sure, man, my back couldn't move. Yeah. And it, it's, it's, I tried to go play some pickup, and. I wasn't playing well, and I was like, I'm not used to this. Yeah. I don't like this yeah. feeling. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like not being able to play basketball. Yeah. And so I was like, you know, I have to be healthy and you know do what's next best for me. Um, and that was helping people. And you know, my my goal in life, my calling was basketball for the first 27 years. And then I found this new passion of mine of helping people be better people. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I'm all in with this. And and it, and it transformed into only pretty much women because I grew up in an all women household. Uh, my mom is. Here here, um, you know, my, my cousins, my grandma, it was women all the time. And so it, it's perfect how, you know, Thrive became an all, pretty much all women concept. And I love it. I relate with women really well. And um, I can see things that, you know, they can't see about themselves. And that empowerment, that women empowerment mm -hmm. movement, I'm totally on board. Okay, with. so let's get down to the, let's go. the, the, the gun my mind straight. Here we go. I committed to you yes. and I'm in the gym. Okay. What are the things? Like, what are the top, like, three things I can do to get it tight and right? Okay, so whatever you want to do with your body, you have to make sure that eating is number one. Oh, yeah. If you want to gain weight, lose weight, trim, anything, we have to, our diet has to be right. And I'm not a guy 
guy who's like super strict on diet. I've never been that. I've been about being sustainable, um, portion control. I'm never going to say don't eat that. I'm going to say eat a little bit of that. You know, lifestyle. You don't, exactly, it's a lifestyle. Well, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Um, and the next thing is, you know, busting your ass in the gym. You got to work hard. Um, people don't know what really hard work is in the gym. They go in with their with their iPhone. They're texting. They're talking, searching for music. <laughs> that's not working hard. You got to you got to bust ass in the gym. And that's in 45 minutes for an hour of just of getting in them supersets. You do one set. You don't rest for three minutes. <laughs> I feel like that might be you. Hey, oh, why am I gonna feel like that might be you? Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like selfie boom. So you gotta go superset, superset, superset. And I that yeah, I got you. You know what? Good set. While I'm here, I got you. I'm not gonna let you slip. I'm not gonna let you slip. So um, you know, busting your ass in the gym, diet, and also having that mindset, like you say, of just like I'm gonna kill this. And you know, the more confidence you have with anything, but especially getting right physically, and mentally, it's huge because you're putting yourself at a higher level to succeed if you're here. Okay, so um, I have a question then for us. Okay. Because we, I work so hard during the week, it's really hard to work out. I was wondering, could I just work out for like three days on the weekend and have it all work out? Can Absolutely work. not. No. 100% no. Really? It's a hard no on that. It's what you can do. It's what you can do. You can get 20 minutes a day. I don't want to hear anything from you. You can get 20 hair. minutes a day. <laughs> 20 minutes a day can go so long if you do it right. Okay. 20 minutes a day of doing a set, playing on your phone, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to work. But if you go 20 minute superset circuit, sprint, superset circuit, that's all you need. Okay. And we can all find 20 minutes. I don't care what any mom has to say. I don't care what any business owner has to say. We can find 20 minutes. Get up earlier or go to bed later. No and excuses. And we can do that. No it's excuses. Time it's so time to thrive. It's time to thrive. Tell everyone where they can find fellow girls. So um, I'm at Ryan Reed Thrive. Um, and my website is ryanreedthrive.com. Um, and those are my two main sources of, you know, social media, my website and my uh, Instagram. And, you know, check it out. It's about empowerment. Uh, we empower everyone, women especially. But it's all about positivity, encouragement, determination. All right. Yes. Thank you so much, Ryan. My man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.